These are contenders for the world's largest freshwater fish, true life Loch Ness monsters that can grow over six feet long and weigh more than 200 pounds. They are underwater leviathans. And many of these fish, their entire life cycle is a mystery. Some of them live in areas so remote they've barely been studied. 70% of them may be endangered and a few of them may already be extinct. Hey, I'm Dr. Zeb Hogan, and I'm on a quest to find, study, and protect the world's largest species of freshwater fish. Right now, I'm here at Lake Tahoe, but most species of giant fish are actually found thousands of miles from here, in Asia. Over half of the giant freshwater fish species occur in Asia. Chinese sturgeon in the Yangtze River, the Mekong giant catfish, and dog-eating catfish in the Mekong, and the man-eating goonch in India. Records show that the goonch once grew to over 600 pounds, absolutely enormous. There are stories of these catfish in northern India actually stalking, attacking, and killing humans, literally pulling them into the water and devouring them. To get in these pools where you know these big goonch occur, I'll admit it, I was a little scared. The Mekong River is an absolutely incredible place. More species of megafish occur in the Mekong than any river on Earth. I've been working with these big fish for about 15 years. I went to Thailand for the first time in 1996. By chance, a friend of mine invited me up to the very most northern point of Thailand. And what I saw was one of the largest freshwater fish in the world, the Mekong giant catfish. They have caught a very big fish, uh, I guess it's a giant catfish, in one of the nets here. Hi, yay, yay. Look at the head on that thing. The largest Mekong giant catfish ever caught. It was caught in 2005, 646 pound catfish. And as far as I know, that is the current record holder for the world's largest freshwater fish. This is uh, one of the biggest fish that I've seen. It's probably nine feet long, weighs over 500 pounds. Really big specimen. And unfortunately, oh, look at the head there. Unfortunately, it was in the net for quite a long time. And so has a lot of scrapes and scars. So we're gonna wanna, we're gonna try to release it and see if we can't get it to swim away, but uh, it's such a big fish. The Mekong River, it's the most productive river in the world. Over two and a half million tons of fish come out of the Mekong River every year. And over 60 million people depend on those fish for food. And up until now, overfishing has been the main threat to Mekong giant catfish. It's a very big fish, very valuable, migratory, so more vulnerable to fishing. And it takes a long time to mature. So any fish that's harvested before it can spawn, that's a real problem for the population. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Swim out, come on guy. The Mekong River is also home to another species of fish that rivals the Mekong giant catfish in size. It's the giant freshwater stingray, another real contender for the largest freshwater fish in the world. The giant freshwater stingray in particular, I've heard so many stories about absolutely huge, record-breaking fish. Most of these giant fish species, they're very difficult to study. And I have to rely on fishermen, people that are out on the river every day, to help me find these big fish. And so a lot of times it'll be a fisherman that gives me a call when he gets a big catch. Every time I get a call from one of these fishermen, I get excited because I know when I get down the river, there's gonna be a big fish. So we, we, we got the first car we could find. We're in a tuk-tuk. We're headed towards the river. We're gonna go check out this report, this big fish. It's just giving birth in our hands. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> 
Oh man, amazing. <laughs> it gave birth? Awesome. Let's <laughs> check it out. We get down to the river and there's this enormous stingray. Not only that, but we find out it's a, fe a pregnant female and she's just given birth. Oh, it's soft. Wow. Much softer than an adult. I know, I remember like. Have you seen anything like this before? No, I mean. Yeah, a, a stingray this size giving birth before our eyes and just a really cute little baby. The giant freshwater stingray is a real mystery. We don't know where it spawns. We don't know anything about its migratory behavior or its critical habitat. It's a fish that occurs in areas that are so remote and so hard to study. The entire life cycle of the giant stingray is a mystery. It's fascinating that a fish so big could be so poorly understood. It was only described about 20 years ago. And so what that means is that there could still be some fish out there, contenders for the world's largest freshwater fish that we don't even know about. It's not the search for the freshwater fish that's so important to me. It's really what the search represents. And the fact that we don't know very much about these giant fish, we don't know which species of fish is the largest freshwater fish in the world. That really shows our lack of knowledge and lack of appreciation about some of the largest freshwater fish on Earth. It's also about protecting the habitats where they occur. Giant fish are an indicator of river health, whether the threat is habitat degradation or dams or overfishing, they're the first fish to disappear when there's a problem in the river. I think the first step to protecting these big fish, or an important first step, is just to make people aware that they exist. Some of these giant fish have been on Earth for over a hundred million years. And now in our lifetime, they're at risk of extinction.